population. I mean, this is this is huge. Look at the look at the distance up there before his keels come down again. Yeah, this is a monster. <laughs> this is really interesting. You've kind of got some rear wheel tracks here, very briefly, and the front there. Then there's a space there of something nearly four to 35 feet away before there's any more contact. And the car was actually completely airborne here. It's got no contact with the ground whatsoever. All four wheels are off the deck. The car, when Glyn and I, four and a half years ago, started designing it, was aimed at Black Rock Desert in Nevada, <coughs> which is a softer surface and a smoother surface. Um, we've done a lot of adapting to the design to make it cope with this surface. Um, if we'd known it was going to be like this, well, then perhaps we would have designed it differently from scratch anyway. Despite the steering problems and fears that the rough desert may destroy the car, the team are determined to push on. Today, they hope to reach 500 miles per hour for the first time. They're going into the unknown. It's now not just about research. There's much more at stake. Everybody in the team is responsible for his life. Because if anything does go wrong, how do you think the rest of us are going to feel? Because we've all had something to do with it. No one can afford to make any, any mistakes in cock-ups. Now focus. Looking for Max. 220. Shitload of dust coming from the right-hand side. 300. Sweet steering. Max burner. 450, drifting left, ignoring that. 500 indicated. Now getting back to the right-hand side. That was the mile four tracks, not totally surprised. Oh, we go. 430, copied. Cracking great dust storm in the cockpit. Looking Suddenly, the at 540 miles per hour, Green struggles to control the car. Come on, asshole. Stop babbling the stick. Look at the brakes. Something has gone terribly wrong. Brandy shut down, very bumpy at this stage. 1.1 to go. Oh dear. Anyone a member of the AA? I think we might need recovery. 60 miles an hour short of their goal, there's been a major suspension failure. On both wheels, a main mounting is broken. Shit out of work now. Leg out of here. Yeah. 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 I'm inclined to agree. Sorry, which ones are these now? Top mount. The top mount of the LDVT? No, top mount. Have you seen it? On the other side? No, this here. Haven't seen it. See what the bridge needs to join on to? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm straight through, isn't it? Well, I hadn't realised that. Mm. Yes, that's serious. And my handy that is ruined by well, one bit of hard desert. It could take many days to repair. They've been here three weeks, and time has almost run out. Noble knows going home with a broken car would be a PR disaster. The battle with Craig Breedlove at Black Rock Desert could be off. So, I mean, uh, it doesn't matter about me. You have just two de decisions. Either fix it here or go home. Yeah? That's all you've got to do. If you can fix it here, then we must fix it here. Yeah, but you're part of the loop, because you have to decide how long we can stay. I'll keep you going. You get right, it fixed. I know you will, but uh, let's... So, I, that's what you have to do. I mean, you have to really look at the situation here. Are we into a, a, a situation where we're three weeks' work or something to get it straight again? Or, um, or in which case, that's problem. a serious problem. It's passive displacement. This is nice and clean. So suddenly, it takes all away and drops down. Yeah. Front went first, then the rear. Let's see, more scary then. Um, we, know we, we, know we, know, we know we got steering difficulties at the moment. Not difficulties, problems, which we uh, have drawn us to rectify. Oh, which... That's just going a bit too far ahead, that is, Nick, to be honest. No, <laughs> hear me out then. Why don't you, <laughs> straight away, why don't you just go get it all ready for Blackrock? 
do all the work at the same time. <clears throat> I fully understand what you're saying and I don't disagree with you. Black box better surface. Yes, I know. But the difficulty is that if we go back here with an inconclu inconclusive result, you may not have the money to go to Black Rock anyway. That is not the what it's we're here are talking about. about. Mm. We're talking about design meetings, not talking about mm. money. Richard says you either, t is, you either fix it here mm. in a couple of weeks, or a week or so, or you go back to England. That's, right. that's the issue. Well, the question is, we've got to give him the options. Yeah, that's right. He wants an answer which way we go. He wants an answer, so okay. back to England or stay here and repair it. And we've got to decide that. So I'm saying, go back to England and repair <coughs> it properly. This is important, it's very important, but I still want to go back and assess all the work. Absolutely. Right. I think the important thing is that we, Nick and myself, have done a bit of an assessment on this, on the time it would take. Um, it's going to take a minimum of two weeks, somewhere between two and three weeks to get the whole job done and, and you're back on the desert again. Is that a feasible proposition or not? Well, I'll put it to Richard, but I think you've almost guessed the answer already. Sick. <laughs> Sick. The fundamental trap is that we haven't achieved the 600 miles now we said we were going to do, and we're coming back with a broken car. That's not good. Um, we've then got an enormous uphill climb now to make the money to go to BlackRock. I mean, frankly, we're more or less out of money, so we've got to start again. Um, also, we're seeing cutbacks in sponsorship budgets and so on. So it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be a very very hard grind. I made it very clear to them, and they're all saying, "Well, come on, Richard, cheer up. Come on, that's your not your normal self." And I'm saying. You guys have just got to understand just what we're up against. That's the way it goes. For his supersonic dream to come true, they'll have to return home, mend the car, and raise money by any means they can. What we'd like to do now is introduce an element of excitement into the, into the afternoon. What we're going to do is we're going to auction a number of used cars from Trust SSC. Afternoon, everyone. Are you enjoying yourselves? Yes. 